What's up everybody and welcome to the submersible power armor mod. To start this video off, I'm going to show you how to get the power armor considering it's not super obvious from the description of the mod. To start off your journey, you're going to want to go to the Diamond City Market. On the needle stand, you'll find this little note. It'll tell you that there's a rapture radio station in the southeast of the map. From there, you're going to want to fast travel to the wreck of the FMS Northern Star. Once there, you'll pick up a new rapture radio. You could tune into it, but actually you're basically right by the power armor and you didn't need the note or the radio, but they're still cool little additions, so why not? Tune into it. You're going to pop up on the right side of the boat. The power armor is going to be on the far left side of the boat. So just pass through the underbelly. There's some enemies on board the boat, but they shouldn't aggro you unless you start shooting at them. There'll be some mire lurks around, but they're pretty easy to take care of. As you make your way to the left side of the boat, you should see the little submergible and the power armor itself. It should stand out pretty easily, and then there you go. You have the power armor. So now for the power armor itself, as you can see it is inspired by the Bioshock power armor. We have a really nice helmet, we have that really nice submersible on the center. The model of this is absolutely phenomenal, everything about it between the like anchor looking kind of center chest piece, all the ropes, some of the chains, just everything. I also really like that it's inspired by the Bioshock armor, not a just direct recreation of it. The backside has a nice little oxygen tank, otherwise everything is more or less the same as the front. And all around, this power armor just looks and feels really nice. It gives you that deep sea diver feel. In the workshop itself, the mod doesn't have a ton, but it does have a few unique items that uh, kind of change it around. Unfortunately, there is no material changes, so what you see is what you get. But, uh, you know, again, there are a few other cool things. So, both the legs and the arms have kind of custom mods, or, mo yeah, mods, that allow you to change some small things about it. So, as you can see, I don't know if they're the most useful, but we have tactical buoys on the arms, and this increase your carrying capacity while submersed underwater. So although this is really cool, and definitely fits the theme of the uh, armor, when would you ever use this? I mean, unless I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So basically, if you're underwater, you could carry more. I, I don't know, I'm sorry, I just find, I have trouble finding a use for that. Uh, again, still it's cool that, uh, you know, there's like some cool things. It'd be better maybe increases carrying speed underwater or, I don't know, something like that. So then on the legs we have marine foils, which increase movement speed underwater. That's a little bit more fitting still, I mean, I don't know, how often do you spend time underwater? Although I guess it is the whole theme of the armor. So again, that one makes a lot more sense, but increasing carrying weight, I, I don't know. When when do you ever carry stuff or like find items underwater that are heavy? I feel like that's not really that common. But nonetheless, uh, we do also have a jet pack on the chest piece. And then on the helmet, it does have quite a few th cool things. We have a submersible rebreather. So it increases your oxygen supply underwater. So we're gonna be testing this in a second. But what's even cooler is is the headlamps so these headlamps well I'll just show you what they do so here is the headlamp and as you can see it is uh, really cool it basically changes all it comes out of all three so the default headlamps a little glitched so I would just instantly replace it with some of these other ones and I'll also show you the jetpack really fast but uh, yeah so the headlamps are really cool there are a few other ones I'll show you real quick so probably kind of the weirdest of the bunch we have the red tactical headlamp so this one's pretty funny it is you know again a red tactical headlamp it just looks so cool when you uh, see them. I don't know if they actually come out. It doesn't really look like there's any light coming out of 
like the side it is but it's just really far to the bottom i guess but uh the one in the front is definitely by far the brightest if you're wondering why my hud's like glitching out and stuff i'm using the immersive hud mod uh so it turns off your hud link in the description down below but yeah so let's check out one of the other headlamps and yeah so in my opinion the funniest we get a nice kind of like fallout green right there i don't know how else to describe that and then this is the vault boy headlamp so as you can see we have little vault boys so let me go uh try and get the side one on a wall and can you see it? I don't think you can really see the one on the side, but yeah, the one in the front is really obvious, especially when you're walking, you have a massive vault boy to support you. But now let me show you the last headlamp, which is probably the most practical. So here we have the bright headlamp, and although it's not the yellow from Bioshock like the other ones, I think this one does look the nicest, and again, is probably the most practical as far as seeing in the night goes. You do definitely get a seriously bright, uh, like, little thing there. And then as far as, like, I would put this on your companions, uh, this power armor, because you will never lose them. Like, you can see these headlamps from pretty far away. They do glow quite, uh, quite a lot. So, now let's go check out the armor in action and see what we can do with it. So now, back at the crash site, I do have, uh, some... Uh, not vivid weathers, true storms, rain, and fog going on, so that is why things look so amazing and sound really cool as well as those we do have our bright headlamp. I did place some trappers down over there, so uh, let's turn them on and see what this armor can actually do in, uh, you know, action. So I do have a few weapons. I do have uh, the weapon from earlier that I am totally forgetting the name of, but uh, we can try and take a few shots at these trappers from afar, and uh, did I, I just really missed every single shot. So that's interesting. So there I did finally hit one and I did realize I am over here, but I also do have, oh, hello. So uh, I also do have, oh, I'm out of ammo. Did I really forget to give myself ammo? But uh, I, I do have a harpoon gun as well. So this will hopefully help me out a little bit. And uh, these guys are going to start coming in. And I, I would rather him fight the other people. So I'm going to try and go in third person. And we'll try and use some VATS action. I'll actually put myself in god mode. And you'll see why here in a second. And uh, or maybe you won't. But no, you will. But uh, yeah, so basically in VATS you get some really cool shots with uh, the, just being able to see the armor. And uh, it does rapid fire this harpoon gun, which is really funny, if you ask me. I, I, th I get a huge kick out of that every single time. So uh, we'll try and get some shots going on. Obviously, we're not going to have to reload here, so uh, we will just have like a little pause. And oh, this is, this is going to be a direct hit on this guy. So again, we do have some legendary trappers here. And uh, I should be able to hit him in the head. Oh, no, I missed. Oh, there you go. So there's a nice headshot right there. And uh, as you can see, we took that one out. So let's try and take out this guy right next to us. And he did dodge there a little bit, which is not so fun. Not so fun at all. So we'll try and shoot him in the stomach a little bit. And uh, my HUD's not going away. So we'll turn it off manually because uh, immersive HUD is supposed to do that. But it does have a few glitches, unfortunately. But there you go, so there we got a really good shot. And uh, as you can see, using this armor in the rain and all this is quite fun. After this, I will make sure to go in uh, the water just to try out all the the different features with like floating and that stuff. So I'll start trying to work my way over there. Oh, I do have a jetpack as well. I should probably be taking advantage of that. But uh, yeah, so look how bright this freaking light is, uh, especially with like the three-way. Yeah, look at that. That is scary looking. So if we go jump in the air, oh, you can't use vats in the air. I didn't know that. So uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to hit him in the air like this, but uh, we'll go for it anyway. Nope. <laughs> we did get pretty close there, though. So that's what matters, right? And uh, we'll take a few more shots. I wanted to like zoom back in on the armor. Yeah, like that. That's a that's a cooler shot right there. But again, in this like kind of eerie uh, like fog thing here. Uh, it is pretty scary. So let's go back to the it's the DK, DKS 501. That's the sniper rifle I'm using. So uh, it's a really fun sniper rifle. And I don't know. I recommend you check it out. It's a really cool weapon mod in general. I'm still getting shot at. I don't know by who though. Oh, right there. So let's finish this guy off. And uh, yeah, let's shoot him in the arm a million times until it actually works. And let's actually go for a critical shot right there. Oh, that was not... Normally the critical shots give you a cool close up, but unfortunately not that time. So let's go run over. Oh, there, there's really more? Why is it? You know what? I don't even care. We're just going to run over to the armor now, or to the water now, and uh, we'll check out what it does, how it works in the actual water. So we can fly up a little bit because why not? That's actually a pretty cool. Look how scary that looks. <laughs> Imagine you saw this thing flying around to you. So yes, now underwater. And oh yeah, you could actually totally tell. Look how much faster I'm running. This is probably kind of hard for you guys to tell, but I am running noticeably faster. Let me turn my head back on so uh, I don't die, but uh, 
I, I, you do definitely run noticeably faster, and I do have that higher carrying weight, so if we go to my inventory, yeah, as you can see, 580, I, I do not have 580 before, I don't know what my default is, I think it's 460 with power armor, I don't know how the hell I would get out of this water right now, because, you know, you, you can't really see anything, and, oh, there's, there's some interesting stuff down here, though, what, I don't actually know what this is. So that's interesting, but okay, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. I definitely recommend you check out this armor. As you can see, it looks absolutely badass. It's almost funny how fast you run underwater, but yeah, look at those headlamps underwater. I see why divers use them now, and as you can see, now we can fly away and go off into the distance. But yeah, so I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.